Hi, Super Spruce here. Battle and Terrain Dimensions New Game Plus 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 video episode 192. And at long last, I can finally get the final upgrade or final non repeatable special upgrade in New Game Plus Plus Plus. And it is Electrons Boost per 10 dimension meta dimensions multiplier. And it looks like it, it makes it. It raises the 1.48 power. It's like electrons to the 1.48 power. I think that's what it is. So that should allow me to get a lot more meta antimatter. I'm just going to see here. I have E39,800 meta antimatter. And then I'm just going to get this upgrade in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bam. And this should. Yeah, I'm up to E41,000 meta antimatter. But I think more importantly. That was the last upgrade. I, I know. I'm I think I'm emphasizing this way too much, but whatever. It's it's the final upgrade and it's like, oh my god, I've completed the game. I've not quite really completed it because you know there's all these achievements, but it's like I've gotten all the upgrades. At this point there's almost no use in grinding all the Balsonic Lab stuff because there's nothing I can really I can really do with it to boost everything else. So, yeah, it's like, this is like the final episode of at least the W and Z bosons stage of Bosonic Lab, because the next few episodes are going to be going for achievements. But, yeah, let, let's see. I can get E24,000 quarks, which probably will allow me to get a lot more neutrinos. Um, E1840, I'm, I'm not sure if that's any higher than usual. Uh, I don't, I don't, maybe it's higher than usual. I, I didn't know what it was at before, but whatever. It's going to be E1844, and maybe with this I can go into Big Rip, or actually, maybe I can get one of those Electron upgrades. Like, I always forget about them. Uh, okay, no, I can't get any Electron upgrades, unfortunately. Like, the next one's E45,000 meta antimatter, and this is 467 meta dimension boost. I am up to E154 quadrillion antimatter, so that upgrade did... Um, definitely help the antimatter, and I'm at 304 meta dimension boost, so it doesn't really look like, look like I'm going to get a lot more electron upgrades. Maybe I could just check my time theorems to see what I have. I have E119 time theorems, so still not even close to the next electron upgrade. I, I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more electron upgrades. Like there's the E3400 dilated time one, but I'm only at E2600 dilated time, so. I don't really know what I can do. I, I think what I'm just going to do is try to grind some, like, some Z bosons or something. Because I don't really see what else there is to do at this point. Of course there is the achievements, but I'm I'm thinking I may want to wait until next Light Empowerment. Because, well, first of all, this one is get 21st Nano Fail Reward without having tree upgrades. Which means I'm going to have to Ghostify for this. And this one is... Reach E 1.8 million affinity points while dilated and big ripped without having time studies, eternity multiplier upgrades, um, tree upgrades, and break eternity. So the tree upgrades and break eternity part means that I can't ghost or I have to ghostify first. Actually, I'm not even sure how I um, don't have break eternity unlocked. I probably just have to fix eternity and then ghostify. That's, that's probably what I have to do, so... And I'm actually... I'm pretty close to the next light empowerment. I'm, I'm not all that close, but I'm definitely somewhere. I'm at, I'm at 4.37 quintillion ghostly rays. I need 13.808 ghost, quintillion ghostly rays to do the 10th light empowerment. And I've heard people can get... I'm just going to say it now. 13. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get 13, but at least I should be able to get like 10 or 11. So, yeah, there's that. And then the, and then a lot of the other achievements involve stuff like... Um, a lot of them involve the challenges. Like, this is pair challenge ranking. This is become a ghost with at least E375,000 eternity points while big ripped. And anti-dilation modifier. So, that this one also has to do with ghostifying. So, I, I, I may do... I'm thinking I'll just do the light empower and then I will... Um, Ghostify soon after that. And then, let's see if there's anything else that requires ghostifying. Like, this is complete a pair challenge with 
Um, Quantum Challenge has six plus eight combinations. That may also require a Ghostify. So, and the thing is, I don't want to, I do not want to Ghostify because I think that resets all of the, uh, it doesn't reset all the light boost, but it resets Ghostly Photons, Ghostly Rays, and Dark Matter. So I, I don't really want to have to deal with that being reset. So that, that's why I'm thinking I'll do the light empowerment first. Like, especially, I'm like essentially halfway to the light empowerment. And what I even could do is I could just get to 20, 22 ultraviolet light. And then before I even do a light empowerment, I could just ghostify to get like maybe something like the, like this one, which is complete a pair challenge with quantum challenges, six and eight combinations. So yeah, it's essentially big rip, but it's not big rip. So, like, it's it's like the same challenge combinations as Big Rip, but I'm not in Big Rip. So then there's, um, get E3 away Eternity stat. That one does not require Ghostifying. This one is get a pair challenge one reward. That, that's worded weird. What do we mean pair challenge one, one reward? After you get E1.65 billion antimatter and quantum challenges six and eight. Does that mean I have to go in Quantum Challenges 6 and 8 and um, do it for Pair Challenge 1 just to make it even harder? That, that, that's what I feel like it is. It is not like I have to complete it. I need to get that much antimatter. I'm not even sure if this one's possible, but whatever. There's also this one. Complete Eternity Challenge 11 with E15,500 Infinity Points. So I have to do more than just complete it. I have to get that much Infinity Points in a Pair Challenges with Quantum Challenges 6 and 8 combinations with the Anti-Dilation Modifier. And then there's this one, um, reach E22,500 infinity points while dilated in Big Rift with anti-dilation modifier without having time studies, eternity point multiplier upgrades, tree upgrades, and break eternity. And I've actually heard this one is actually quite tough. I, I've heard it's now possible, but I, I don't think 10 light empowerments could be enough for this. So... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing which ones I even need to ghostify for. I don't think, I don't think these require a ghostify yeah but but this one this one this one this one and i i, th I think it's just these because this i don't think I, I think it just needs to complete it normally and that means i don't ghostify so there's four where i do need to ghostify i think i'll probably just focus on these two first and then probably um this one so yeah, I'm just thinking I'm just going to wait. I should be able to get more antimatter, more neutrinos, more everything. So, uh, yeah, saying a bit. Okay, I'm back a couple of days later, and I have E2 trillion eternity points and E160 quadrillion antimatter. So, that's a lot. And I can actually get 2.79 million levels of this, which should, which it'll make it go from 46,000 to 216,000. So that, that that's quite a bonus there. So, I mean, other than that, there's really not much else. Like, I, I feel like what I can do now with all the anti-prions is um, with the enchantments, I should just use this, and, you know, like use this sort of build with the enchantments and then just oscillate the neutrinos. I'm up to a quintillion bosonic antimatter. It's interesting, but... I'm just going to oscillate Z neutrinos. I'll even turn on Bosonic Overdrive a little bit just to see if I can progress any further, even though I don't really need to. Actually, I sort of need to because I've heard the next mechanic requires um, E20, which is 100 quintillion Bosonic Antimatter. So just having, you know, I mean, I'm going to be able to get that pretty easily, but it'll it'll be nice to have. Also, there's going to be there's achievements I'm going for. And the thing is that, even though I have E160 quadrillion antimatter, I've heard of people getting over, like, the squared of that, which is E320 quadrillion. So, yeah, I, I mean, technically I've, all, I've gotten all the upgrades, but there's still a bunch to go, there's still a lot to go for. There's all these achievements. So I've also heard of an exploit that I may try in a future episode to give me more antimatter. And, I mean, I've actually heard it's intentional or... At the very least, it's they're, they're not going to patch it. So, yeah, that, that'll just be a future episode. I feel like what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wait for this, um, you know, light empowerment. Actually, what I can do is um, grind some neutrinos and then big rip. Just just, just, just to see where I am. Like, if I, if I can grind some neutrinos, let's see how much I'm actually going to be able to get. 
Uh, oh no, it's 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 nothing. That that's three or less orders of magnitude. I guess infinitying a bunch does help my antimatter and get me all the way up to e one hundred sixty one quadrillion, which would mean I would start it in one point seven billion BC. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. But anyway, big rip. E ninety billion antimatter in big rip. Um, let's see what our spins. We're up to E two eighty three. I think there's, I think there's a. I think I've, I've gotten this. I think that was like E two eighty four. I'm nowhere close to the next radioactive decay, but it's nice to get another tachyon particle formula exponents increased upgrade. Also, I can try nano field. I can get a hundred rewards for the first time, which is cool. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get to one hundred and four. It looks like I can even get 101, but just not much more than that. I can do this. I can get up to E426 tachyon particles. But other than that, there's really not much notable I can do. The Antiprion Ghost will have to wait for another episode. I'm, I'm close. I'm in the triple digits now. But 104 is just too far away. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is just keep trying to grind the ghostly rays so I can get another light empowerment. I can gain like 130 orders of magnitude of ghost particles, but this is going to be better when, if I wait for that. And like, I'll, I'll start knocking out some of the achievements then. So yeah, there's really not much else I can do. I have 101 re rewards, E286 spins in each branch. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.